So today here we're at my cabinet wood shop and we got problems all the time with the suspension cords being at the floor all over. And so we decided to just get a nice setup where we get a 50 foot extension cord that's gonna be mounted into the wall and we'll pull it and it'll pull back. That way we don't have it dragging on the floor when we use all our power tools. But one important thing is a bracket that it comes with. The screws are in the side, you won't be able to get your studs. So what we're doing, we're gonna put a block of wood, get the two by four, and then we're gonna mount this into a piece of wood. So make sure you mount it properly when you do that. And one other thing, this it comes with, if you don't want your extension cord to be hanging out too much, this is an adjustable adjuster that it has. You just twist it and you can move it front or back, that way it doesn't hang too much. We decided to keep it a little bit sticking out. So that's how we're gonna use it. So this is the extensions we have, and we use this one a lot, if you guys can see for the power tools, but we take it from there all the way to back there. And this is our wood shop, and we always need tools. And this is one way we always grab the tools. We just come to the wood shop and we always connect. And this one always stays on the floor. We're gonna remove it from there because it's a hazard. So now we're gonna hang the extension cord. Nope, nope. There you go. And then we're gonna lock it in place. Okay, now we're gonna put a screw that it comes with. I'm gonna get a drill to lock it in place so it doesn't come out or nobody tries to take it. So we move it to the side. Get in there. And that's it. That's it. Now we're gonna power it up. Oh, now we're good. And the nice thing about ours, we got our power cord here, our boxes of electrical. We'll plug it in. Now we're gonna pull it in and show you guys. This and this. Now we're gonna pull it. It has this button, so right now it's off. And when you press on it, that's how you know you're plugged in. And we're gonna start pulling it and show you guys how long it is. As you can see, we're gonna stretch it out to the maximum every as we can. So to test it out, we're gonna test it out on 40 feet first. So we're following the actual individual with a drone here to see and follow through his shop to find out how long he could actually extend. And here he was a little accurate, you know, he was a little hesitant about, hey, this is 40 feet, but you could turn on the power, turn it off and on. And then what we did, we just kept going outside because this actually stretches all the way from his warehouse, from the beginning of the warehouse, almost, almost to the end, even outside. So anytime we have to work and we want to stretch this to the max, it's not gonna be an issue whatsoever. So here we are with the drill, testing it out, making sure that it is powered up. And once we test it out and it's working, we could come back and drill. But at this moment, we're just gonna take it out a little further out so you guys can see how far we can go. Here we're able to take another five to six feet to the maximum to make sure that we go all the way to the 50 feet. So we're outdoors, enjoying it. We're very thrilled about the power. So very simple, easy to set up. The nice thing about this is this is retractable. You don't have to do anything, you just pull it. So pull it, so you just let it go small. We're gonna plug our extension. That's it. That way you don't need to worry about folding it. And there you go. Easy as that. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.